Hey everybody, welcome to City Skylines, where I have another great, big, gigantic city. And another, I guess, continuing with my theme of a city on Mars. I named this city Uruk, after the ancient Mesopotamian city in uh, the Epic of Gilgamesh. One of the oldest known cities in, in the world one of the earliest cities in the, in the known world, and um, I think here I got this little island here with one of the unique buildings and uh, a bunch of houses, and this, this is a high rent island, this is a very exclusive island where people come to live, and uh, what's interesting is it's all of this water, all of it, this entire lake that we're looking at. Which is really kind of overflowing here. And what it's overflowing with is, if I can get back up to it, sewage. Very nasty. There was, because there was actually no water on this map except for a hole that I dug and put a water source in. Just because I have to have a water source. And I just started filling it. And it overflowed. So I think it's kind of funny that I have my exclusive Hyrun Island surrounded by a lake of sewage. But anyway, if we come up to the center of town, you'll see this ridiculous intersection here. Let me zoom down into it. It's a six-way intersection. It actually performs fairly well. We sit here and we watch it come in and they go around. It's a roundabout on the outside. And people just come through and they turn in whatever direction they want to. Like if you're wanting to go this way, you turn that way. If you want to go that way, you have to go in and then turn around like that. But it's actually a surprisingly efficient intersection for it being a six-way intersection. And it worked up until I had like about 40,000 people and then I had to do ridiculous bypasses and overpasses and all that stuff. Let's zoom down this way, down the main area, until we come to where the train enters the city. I have this split 12 lane highway, which doesn't get much use anymore. I mean, it used to, back when this was a major mining section. I mean, when I was mining this whole area, this was a heavy use highway not so much anymore. But if we look up over this way, this is the suburbs. Just rows and rows of houses everywhere as far as the eye can see. Come down up through this way. And this up here is the Medical Center Unique building, surrounded by a bunch of other uh, things, the, like the, uh, the aquarium, the library, performing arts center, museum and the Eden project. But yeah, if we sit here, we look back, just look, uh, yeah, there's a uh, university. But we just sit here, we can look, we can see this is actually a rather nice looking city. We got the elevated train. There you go, see, there it comes. Here comes the train. Okay, you can take this train to pretty much any place in the city. So you can get on the metro. I, I don't have. I do not have buses in this city. The city does not have a bus system. It has a train system. Yeah, here is the original uh, industrial area, which then, which I, I had this. Then I had the uh, mining area. And then when the mines gave out, I just went back to manufacturing, and we have this huge industrial plaza where you, people will ride in on the metro and then they'll walk on these elevated uh, pathways to get to wherever it is they work. Which I think is here. You see a bunch of people doing that. Which I think is a really cool idea. And we have this bypass where you can get from one, gets from one end to the other. And there we go. Here's where all the traffic is now. 
see all of this traffic just going into and out of the city. And here is the airport and the space elevator. If we come in here, you see this massive flood of people as they enter the city. Here's the stadium. Here's another massive boulevard. So again, like I said, it's two one-way, six-lane highways, side to side, and a train down the middle. And I think this looks... I think this is a really cool setup here. People just ride through here, and then there is a uh, pedestrian pathway we can use to get from one side to the other. And this takes us in... Uh, into the city. And this is the original highway that led from one side of the city to the other. There is a roundabout buried under here, but it's not as useful as it used to be. And here we have the uh, Iron Rises. Iron High Rises. All kinds of Lots of tall buildings. They build tall on Mars if they can. Ah, uh, yes. Unique buildings everywhere. And uh, let's see, where, where else? What else have we got? Office complex. And we can. This is, this, I still think it looks. The city just looks really nice from that level. Let's come out here to. Let's see. Where's a good place to sit? Yeah, here. If we come down to about street level, or rooftop level, we can look out at our city. Our beautiful little city. Ooh, it's really nice. I mean, I, I'd live in it. Of course, I, I built it, so I'm a little biased. Unfortunately, I can't fix this piece here. So, this is basically just a dead suction of highway. It got flooded. Mars global climate change. And there's some mountains off in the distance. But yeah, I kept having to raise this up and up and up. Because the, uh, the, the sewage water was filling all this area up. And this is a very shallow. But yeah, so let's take a look at our, our, our island here, which I named Enkidu Island, after the other character in the Epic of Gilgamesh. Yeah, besides Gil there was Gilgamesh and an Enkidu, who lived in, in, in and around Uruk, which again is the name of the city, Uruk. I took a lot of that, a lot of... Because I figured... What was I trying to talk? What am I saying? Uh, yeah, I put it, it's on, it's on the outskirts of the city, it's surrounded by poop water, so I figured Enkidu, the wild man, would be perfect for this little island. And it actually turned out to be a rather nice looking little island. You can just kind of zoom around it. It would be a nice place to live for the young professionals and or old retirees, or whichever happens to be the popular thing at the moment. We even got a, oh yeah, there's the basketball court. Could you imagine basketball on Mars? These have to be like at least twice as tall as they are on Earth. Well, maybe not that tall. But anyway. Yeah. We're We've got the uh, the rail terminals that bring cargo into and out of the city. Oh, it looks like something's on fire up here. What's on fire? Oh, wow. Um, I think that's probably going to burn. Oh, here we go. we got people. Oh, it's, it's definitely burning now. Yep, it burned down. Pretty sure. We only got 
one guy on a massive industrial fire. Oh well. This is just ridiculous traffic. But, uh, yeah, this, as you can see, something's backed up somewhere. Where are they all backed up? Up here? Yeah. Oh, nope, there they go. Oh, that's what happened. See, stuff like this happens on my trains. The train will just derail. And it shuts down the entire line and everything screws up. Oh, there we go. Things are kind of... I still have not figured out how trains work. This was supposed to be the city where I figured out how trains work, but they just will not run properly. I don't really know what to say about it, other than... They, they, they sort of work. The city looks pretty good from this. Let's get down on this hill. Looks pretty good from this direction. Let's see, what would it look like if we were approaching from the, uh, approaching on the highway? Let's see, if we come around, it sort of rises up out of the Martian desert. I think the next uh, city I'm going to build is going to be on Mars. I, I found, but uh, it's still not, but it's not going to be on Earth. It's going to be, I'm thinking Venus. I found some really neat, uh, maps of Venus that I'm going to use. I figured that would be pretty cool. And yeah, look at this. This, looks, this is a really nice, like I said, this is a really nice looking city. It, 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 it does look very, oh goodness, what is I think I'm probably going to have to rebuild, I would probably have to rebuild this if I kept up. If I kept on this city. Right now, it's just almost flooded completely. I mean, I've already had to pull back from the coast a couple little bit. Like, see there, that that's flooding. Oh well. For some reason, after the mining industry pulls out, it leaves these rock crushers here. I figure they're just like remnants of the old mining boom town. The old mining area would be a perfect place to put the uh, put the telescope. I mean, this is what it looks like from this angle, anyway. Pretty good. Well, that's the city of. Well, that is the city of Uruk on the plains of Arabia Terra. I rather enjoyed building it. I hope you enjoyed my tour. So I'll see you guys some other time.